Hey everyone, we're continuing our walkthrough now of Spongebob Scorpion's Battle for Bikini Bottom. And we're still doing the Kelp Forest, but in this, vi this video today, we're in the Kelp Vines at the moment. And this is part four of four, by the way. And there might, and there was actually a part, um, yeah, there was, um, yeah, but in the next video, I think I'll have to tell you if there was a part 3A and 3B. But anyways, you see, we're going to continue the play. I'm going to continue the place, and you see we're at the kelp vines at the moment. And then, when it hits a minute and 19, I'm going to try, but make it so that in the end, if I don't make it, that the timer, the time on the flip video camera reaches three minutes because I'm trying to use the exact math to do it as you guys can see here five four three two one whoa that was weird now we have to ask him again And now I'm gonna do it again. And I'll try to make the jumps. Especially the one down here because of the time. Yes, I made it. And you see the blue flowers means double and the orange ones mean single. But I don't know what those are those markings are for the markings for the jumps. And you see that in the end there's yellow shiny a yellow shiny object on the bouncy leaves. See, and now we reach the checkpoint. And see, here's a single. You know, I was just saying that it was a single jump, basically. And now, um, you see, I was close to dying, but I saved myself. And now here are two single jumps. And then I, and then there, here are two more. And you see, in the end, we did it with 26 seconds to spare. So we actually did it in a minute and 15. Isn't that kind of impressive? That's my best record for beating the slide, by the way. So you see that in the end, it was kind of funny too, because when we finished it, we opened the teleport box at the same time. Isn't that pretty funny? Okay, so now we're going to talk to Mermaid Man again. Sometime you've gotten... And then listen to this, it's pretty funny. I guess you could say I had that course flipped. <laughs> Do you get it? I guess I owe you a reward. Thanks. And you see, since we beat his time, we're... We got that spatula. And now since this is part four of four, we're gonna change the cat trick. And then go down the slide again. Because of the fact that we need um that we need um we need uh, what am I trying to say? That we need the last stop for this place. Because because where we need to go, um the place that we're going to go to right now on the slide is where the the, the 50 for this place and the so the last sock is located on that path. Because you see, we're on the path where SpongeBob was a, a few minutes ago. See, because we're close to the checkpoint right here, by the way. See, right there's the checkpoint. See, now we have to go up on this leaf. And then we have to try to make it but go up on this one. And you see the 50s right here. And then right here's the last sock. So, so that's why we, we came up on this path. Oh, that was weird. You see, I died. But anyway, since we have all this stuff now, 
basically. Now we're going to um go back to the help find slide spatula. And there might have to be a part 4B of this. Ah, uh, man. Dude. You see, I'm just worried because of the colors. There we go. And now I'll get this spatula. Because we have all the spatulas opened and all the socks for this place. And now, um... Now we'll go in the teleport box and get the spatula right here. And now we'll, we'll go back to this one and then go to the kelp caves because it's easier if we do it this way because it saves time. See, it's right, just right there. And now we'll go to the one where Barnacle Boy is. Barnacle Boy! Alright. What up? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. In? Uh huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, but yeah. And now I'll get this spatula. But did you see why I want I I made you listen through the through one of them? It was just because I wanted you to hear what the secret superhero power was. So now since you see I got that spatula, now I'll go to the kelp swamp because the spatula that that's in the kelp swamp at the moment is just right across the bridge here. See, it's just right here, the one I'm getting. And now we'll go to the one that's named down in the swamp. And I'm going to try to make it exact, but I don't know if I'll make it. So first I'm going to touch this button, and you see that opens that, and you have 25 seconds. And now, since that happens, I'll try and make it exact. Oh, you see it switching off. And you see, in the end, we made it in 20 seconds. And you see, that's 56. So now we'll go to, um, now we'll go back to the Tiki Roundup spatula because the Through the Woods spatula is just right, it's just right, um, where, right close to here. And then after that, we'll, after that, we'll do the Find All the Lost Campers spatula. Because, you see, here's the spatula named through the woods that we're getting now. See, because that makes it 57. And now we'll do the find all the lost campers just transporting to save time. SpongeBob! No, here's always that. I Wow! And now I'll get this one. And you see... In the end, you see now we have 58 and that completes the kelp forest. So now, now I was thinking about it and we'll, and then we'll get the spatula here because we need 60 for the next place. So now, now I'll get this spatula here. And you see we're in rock bottom at the moment, but this is the last spatula we need here. So now, we'll do one in the Mermelor, because I'm thinking we get the one, we actually get the top of the security tunnel. And then, um, and then, because that makes it like that. And I'll make shiny objects calculate while we get the spatula. Oh, you scared me. Aw, oh, man. You see that in the end, the flip video fell. But, um, 
Ah, ah, ah. You see a ch I think a Chuck killed himself. But um now I'm gonna make this straight again. Ah and um and then go to bikini bottom really quick. And then um use the um sponge ball to to open the taxi for the Flying Dutchman's graveyard. And save our game and stop the part here so that in the next video we can start the Flying Dutchman's graveyard.